Next thing I want to cover is net operating income or NOI for short. Again, we're going to make a free download and put the link in the description for a handout that has a lot of acronyms and what they mean that are very common in the real estate space, just so you don't get lost in future videos when we get a little faster paced and we're using a lot of acronyms and you'll be able to keep up and reference it. So this is a pretend scenario. We'll go into some real scenarios later from our portfolio, but right now we're just being conceptual and just kind of getting some ballpark. So one of the biggest mistakes that new investors make is overestimating their rental income and underestimating their expenses. And obviously this can have a huge impact on how much you take home. So for this example, we got a nice three bedroom house renting for $1,500 a month. We have it leveraged because we already talked about how powerful leverage can be for appreciation, debt pay down, and all those things. So we have a loan in our P&I, our principal and interest payment, is $600. Up next is our insurance, our property insurance. That's going to be $200 a month. Our taxes, that's going to be another $200 a month. And then we always, 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 always have cash reserves. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you're new, starting out, you want to set this at 10%. 10% vacancy, 10% maintenance. Things break. Things do break. Things will break. They always break start having a cash reserve, no ifs, ands, or buts. In this scenario, we started with $1,500, $1,300 in expenses, and our NOI is $200 a month. Generally speaking, $150 to $200 is a pretty good real estate deal. If you have a $300 monthly NOI cash flow, that's an amazing, incredible deal. That's what we're showing here. Just annualizing these or stretching them out across the year or bringing in $18,000 in gross rents, $7,200 on our loan pay down. Now that's not all principal because it's principal and interest. We'll go into that more. Your insurance on the year is $2,400. Your taxes $2,400. Vacancy $1,800. Maintenance $1,800. You'll notice that just after one year, we have enough in our vacancy to cover one month's rent. So if we have a tenant move out and there's 30 days to get a new one in there, we're not panicking, we're covered. We budgeted for it. After two years, we have two months built up. So that's really good. This means that our NOI for the year is $2,400 on the year. This is gonna be key for when we start talking about return on investment, cap rate, yield, all those exciting terms. But this is just kind of a general blueprint of some net operating income.